Hey guys, it's David from Automotive Press. Many of you guys are asking about what's happening with Nissan and that's a very hot topic these days. But more importantly, people want to know where they are built because that has many implications these days in terms of tariffs or anything else for that matter. So people want to know where the products are actually manufactured. So right here, and what I want to do is go over all the Nissan products and tell you where they are built, whether it's US, Canada, or Mexico, or somewhere else in the world, including Japan, so that you can decide what's best for you depending on where you live and the type of tariffs that may or may not happen, which can impact some of you guys. So right here, let me start with Armada all new for 2025 beautifully crafted you can tell with a j in the front this is built in japan it's actually built at the nissan kyushu factory which is way south in southern tip of japan it's a really well-known factory where they build the armada but also they build the infinity qx80 which is a kind of sister model to this i always said that kyushu factory builds some of the best uh, models out there you can tell by the overall quality, the paint job, just fantastic interior. So first of all, the Armada is built in Japan. So every Armada you buy do come from Japan. So let's keep on moving here. There's a few other Japan built cars uh, from Nissan. The Nissan Aria also built in Japan. This one, it's a fully electric car. And again, you can always double check the origin of the uh, manufacturing site by looking at the VIN code. Again, this one has J on it, so confirms that it is built in Japan. Aria, perhaps one of the best looking electric uh, crossovers out there, so, and it looks really fantastic in terms of quality. Moving along, we have Nissan Rogue here, which is typically built in Tennessee, but this one is actually built in Japan, as you can see again, with the J in the VIN code. Some Nissan Rogues are built in Japan, uh, so you kind of have to keep an eye on that. It depends on the model and the trim and also sometimes it's based on the timing But this one is built in Japan, which is interesting because most people will assume that all the Nissan Rogue come from Tennessee and you can tell the quality is fantastic the paint job and everything looks really good uh, And then we have the all-new 2025 Nissan Murano. I haven't driven it yet, but it looks fantastic It has a bit of a kind of area feel to it and it looks very modern. It looks like something out of a concept car. And Nissan Murano is new inside and out and actually really beautiful. They do a great job with the interior in terms of design. And you can see with the VIN code, it's five, which states that it's built in the US. And yes, indeed, it is built in Tennessee plant. So Murano does come from the US. And then we have the Pathfinder, one of my favorite SUVs. This is not body on frame, but pretty rugged and Pathfinder has always been a great uh, SUV and I really enjoy driving it and this one is also built in Tennessee as you can see it's five on the VIN code so it is built in the US so all Pathfinders are built in the American factory of Nissan another Pathfinder over here we'll carry on here this is another Nissan Rogue let's see where this one is built this one is also built in Japan so it looks like right now Many of the Nissan Rogues are built in Japan, which is an interesting thing to uh, look into because most of these competitors like the RAV4 are built somewhere else in North America. So this one is the Nissan Altima and this one is built in the US as well. Uh, so Altima I think is built in Tennessee, which is one of the biggest factory Nissan has. We got a couple more cars here, so let me keep on going. Uh, we have the Sentra and then we have the Frontier over there so let's take a quick look through we have the Sentra which has three in the VIN code which means this one is actually built in Mexico and so Nissan does have a pretty big factory in Mexico so that's where it's built and then we have my favorite truck the Frontier which still has good old-fashioned V6 engine and still has hydraulic power steering and this one is built in Mississippi Canton Mississippi it's a VIN code is one, so it does say that's built in the US. Still one of my favorite kind of all-around, really good old-fashioned truck, built like a tank, and it's actually really good to drive. I actually like it better than the new Tacoma because it has that old-fashioned feel to it. 
And then over here we have the new 2025 Nissan Kicks, which is also all new. I just did a review on it recently, and this one is built in Mexico as well. So three Dino sites from Mexico. And I was actually really impressed with the overall quality and most of all the driving feel and the value you get. So all the Nissan Kicks do come from Mexico, different versions of it. And then the last one we have here is the Nissan Z or Z. And this one, of course, comes from Japan. It's the only place that built a Nissan Z uh, or Nissan Z. And you can confirm that by looking at the VIN, which does have a J. Actually a beautiful machine, especially in this Nismo version. It's not bad, 80,000 Canadian for this Nismo version. I think it's one of the kind of understated sports cars. It's um, better looking and better designed than Supra. I think anyway, although I think I prefer the driving feel of the Toyota Supra, but this one in terms of design, it looks really fantastic. So I think that covers all the Nissan cars right here. I can go through the Infiniti as well, but for now, let me finish off and hopefully this will help you figure out whether uh, the cars you buy from Nissan is built from US or from Mexico or from Japan. They don't have a factory in Canada. So uh, they don't build cars in Canada, but they do build cars in those other places. Okay, now let's move into Infiniti because we also want to know where the Infiniti vehicles are built. Is it Japan? Is it US? Let's go take a look. And let me start off with uh, Infiniti QX80, one of my all time favorite uh, three row luxury SUV, completely revised for this year. And it's a beautiful vehicle built in Kyushu plant in Japan. It's the only place where QX80 is built. And I talked about this in my full review, but the actual quality of the fit and finish in terms of manufacturing is second to none. It's one of the best I've seen. And you can tell the paint job is absolutely fantastic and everything lines up. So QX80 along with the Nissan Armada is built in Kyushu plant, which is way south of Japan. But the QX60, this is a block edition as you can tell by the VIN number, it's a five, which means it's built in the US. This is built in Tennessee. So it does share its platform with other Nissan products. So it's built in Tennessee plant in the US, which is one of the largest plant that Nissan actually has. Uh, so moving along, we have one more QX80 over there. Then we have a QX50 here, uh, which looks fantastic. And it's actually a decent car as well. And this thing is built in Mexico. You can tell by number three, which means this was manufactured in Mexico. Uh, Nissan and Infiniti have a pretty big plant over there that um, produces quite a few different products, including the Nissan Kicks, but this one is also one of the products built there. Uh, and QX55 is also one of the products that are built in Mexico, which is three, so you can see by the number there. So Nissan's Mexican factory is quite a productive plant and the quality actually has been quite good if you look at how things line up and actual paint job is quite decent obviously not as good as the Infiniti QX80 built in Japan but it's pretty close we have QX60 so I talked about this already again this one is built in Tennessee and not bad in terms of the overall quality so again confirming that number is five over there in the wing but the paint job, I'm not so sure. You can tell there's quite a bit of an orange peel there. So the paint job could be better, I think, on this particular US built QX60. But the one that's built in Japan, the QX80, shockingly good, amazing quality, both inside and out. Just a beautiful vehicle. I think it's one of the most understated and underappreciated car because the QX series tend to depreciate quite a bit but actually they perform better than many of the Lexus models especially this one QX80 is a better car than LX and it's quite a bit cheaper so really really love this interior design and the overall manufacturing quality and overall design of the QX80 so that's the Infinity product in terms of where they're built I hope that was helpful again you might want to know where they are built for your own interest and I'll continue to cover other brands in terms of the origins of manufacturing. Catch you later.